We've seen the video capturing it crashing to earth in Michigan last month. And today, the Field Museum is showing off the meteorite from that spectacular trip through the atmosphere, a space rock that is filled with clues to the mysteries of our origins. Robbie Bachewell checked it out. What's particularly amazing about this meteor is just a couple of weeks ago, it was in outer space. And now it's here in the bowels of the Field Museum, ready for study, totally uncontaminated. It's called a chondrite, about a cubic inch in size, already sliced with a diamond cutter for examination under the electron microscope of the Field Museum's Meteorotic and Polar Studies Lab. Our main interest is really studying the rock to learn about our origins, to learn about the, how the solar system formed. Two days after it landed, meteorite hunter Robert Ward found it on the ice of a small lake northwest of Detroit, 250 miles from Chicago. These rocks haven't seen much heating since they formed, so they're essentially a frozen piece of the earliest uh, materials that formed in the solar system. A graduate student identifies the minerals in the Michigan meteorite and so far nothing earth shattering but this is a, a way to look back in solar system history much like we would look at rocks here on earth. In a place with one of the world's greatest meteorite collections the Michigan projectile will take a place of prominence and that is because these men and women who pursue knowledge for its own sake know through the mineral signature that it likely came from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter making it about 4.6 billion years old time zero for our solar system what is different with this one is it was found just two days after it fell so it's very fresh it might contain stuff that is not preserved in other meteorites because they've seen water for example or they have been lying on the ground for a long time colonized by bacteria or other microorganisms from earth and that makes this not just another rock but actually another treasure for this treasure chest by the lake. Ravi Bajwal, ABC7 Eyewitness News, Chicago.